What's up guys, it's your boy Jay from JS Films and today what we're gonna do is go back in DaVinci Resolve 14. This time around I have the paid version. It finally came in the mail. Now I had a request from somebody, they wanted to see how the 10-bit GH5 H264s will do in the laptop that I had from my last test. So here it is, it's the same laptop. I have a couple of 10-bit 4K files here. They are DCI 4K. You can see here, 4Ks, 10-bit, you know. So we'll see how we will see how this will play back in the old laptop I have with the 860 GTX graphics card. So let me go ahead and drag and drop some of these footage here. Well, good news is, uh, like I said before, the GH5 10-bit is supported in the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. The free version, it is not. As far as I know. And anything higher than an 8-bit will not be supported in the free version. So you will need to get the paid version for the, to support the 10-bit. At least for non-Blackmagic cameras. Because the Ursa Mini 4K worked uh, when I was playing it in the free version. And I think that's 12-bit, but it's raw. So, so let's go ahead. Let's make sure that the proxies are off and we are in performance mode. Which we are. So let's go ahead and rewind and press play to see if we can get a smooth playback. And we do not. Now it's funny because the Ursa Mini 4K played better than this, but then again it was raw and it was made by Blackmagic. So they probably optimized their cameras and the Vinci Resolve a little bit better because this is H.264. And H.264 is horrible when it comes to editing, especially it's in 4K. So yeah, it's, yeah, this is not really good. So you will probably have to upgrade your laptop or you're gonna have to do proxies if you're trying to work with GH5 10-bit videos. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, unfortunately, you are gonna have to upgrade your laptop, bro.